60 Minutes Overtime. This week on 60 Minutes, we reported on an investigation into a decades-old question that's dogged many readers of Anne Frank's diary. Who betrayed the Frank family and the four others in hiding and led a Nazi search team to their secret annex behind a bookcase? I think that people that are looking at this feel, ah, maybe we can learn something if this case is solved. And maybe to the Holocaust survivors that are still out there, they understand that somebody still cares that these mysteries are solved. We spoke with Vince Pancoke, a veteran FBI agent. He recently led a team of expert investigators equipped with modern crime-solving techniques to try to crack the case. Among other things, they used artificial intelligence to sift through reams of data and original documents. What specifically are you looking for when you're considering suspects? We're looking at, did they have the knowledge? We look at their motive. You know, what would the motive be? Were they anti-Semitic? Um, were they trying to do this for money? And then opportunity, were they even in town? We can't just forgive. Anne Frank's father, Otto Frank, was the only member of his family to survive the Holocaust. For a period after the war, he looked into this question of who might have tipped off the Nazis. A biographer of Otto Frank suggested that the betrayer might be Tony Ahlers, a Dutch national socialist. He was among the dozen or so suspects Pan Koch and his team looked into, but they ultimately ruled him out. Tony Ahlers was a main suspect in uh, Carol Ann Lee's uh, book, which was uh, about Otto Frank. And Tony Ahlers did a lot of suspicious things. There was a lot of information that pointed to Tony Ahlers as being a potential suspect. However, after Otto Frank went into hiding, Tony Ahlers was out doing other things in different parts of the city, and it was clear that Tony Ahlers had no knowledge that Otto Frank and the others were hiding in the annex. Another book posited that the suspect might be a Jewish woman, Hans von Dyck. For collaborating with the Nazis and betraying numerous fellow Jews, Van Dyck was executed after the war. She was a prime suspect. And many people, whenever we first started the investigation, said, you need to look at Hans Van Dyck because she betrayed so many people. And yet, you eliminated her. We did. Based on what? Well, we found out a couple things. Number one, that during the time period of the betrayal, she wasn't in town. She was out of town working not close to Amsterdam. Um, the second thing was there was nothing that actually tied her to information that would have led her to know that the people were in the annex. One of the people that has been most often considered as the potential betrayer is Willem van Maren. He was a worker in the warehouse building where the Franks hid. Anne Frank even wrote about him in her diary. He was prime suspect number one after the war. He's working downstairs in the warehouse. He was very shifty, suspicious, actually a thief. Face value, you would think, okay, we found the guy. But whenever you actually dig into all the evidence, you find out that he wasn't anti-Semitic and probably wasn't capable of betrayal because had he betrayed the annex, he knew that he would end up losing his job. So that was the basis on which you exclude him as a suspect. Yeah, we, we didn't see any motivation there for him to do it. On the broadcast, we reveal the person these investigators now believe betrayed those in hiding in the annex, Arnold Vandenberg. He was a prominent Jewish businessman with a wife and kids in Amsterdam. Pan Koch says he was living an open life in the middle of Nazi-occupied Holland at a time when Jews were being deported to the concentration camps. Vince Pankoke says to have this level of protection, he must have had some leverage with the Nazis. Although the team's evidence points to Arnold Vandenberg as the prime suspect, these cold case investigators have no way to prove it beyond a reasonable doubt. But they believe that their evidence shows the Franks were betrayed, that the Nazi discovery and arrest wasn't merely a coincidence. We took that theory apart, you know, bit by bit. This doesn't play out the way it does, but for a specific tip. Exactly. 